Hello, this is a quick demo of the heavy poly materials and grease pencil popover. So this is a handy little utility for um, using grease pencil. It's got your grease pencil layers. You can reorder them um, from top down. And you can also edit and mess around with your materials in the same panel. So for example, here we have an orange fill. Let's draw that fill. And here's the color. We can adjust the color here. We can also copy uh, material very quickly with this uh, copy material script. So normally in Blender, this, this might be a four or five step process to copy a material. But now we have just one click. And then we can change the color. Oh, sorry, the fill color. And then continue drawing. Copy another fill, change the color, and continue drawing. So that just makes it a little bit faster to switch colors and make new materials. Um, you can do the same thing with pencils or, or stroke materials. Copy a pencil, change the stroke color, copy new stroke color. And you can also turn on and off a stroke on any material with this toggle stroke button. And you can toggle a fill with the toggle fill button. So let's say we want a purple fill and we can toggle it on or off. So that works with any of these materials. And you can also delete materials with this using, an, and this is another script that makes deleting materials a little easier. And there, we also have a layer opacity here. And these are all just regular material, um, you know, things that you would find in the Blender um, properties panel, but normally it would be kind of it's a little bit uh, more cumbersome, I think, because you have to have two of these open to be able to see both the materials and the, the layers at the same time. So anyway, that's a little combo menu here. It's just the most common um, tools that I'm using right now. Again, this is the first version of, of this menu. So I'm totally open to any suggestions or things that you think could be improved in this menu. But anyway, um, it's available, it's free. Um, I have a link, I'll have a link below and let me know what you think. I hope, I hope this uh, menu is helpful for you. And also remember that this menu works for materials too. So if I'm doing a regular mesh here and I do Shift V, I can choose a material and here we've got our same, um, actually, let me switch this to glossy, our same thing. So we can copy materials and make uh, material changes on the fly using this menu. Um, another thing, though, is that for grease pencil, one thing that I would suggest um, or that I hope that the developers will add in later is the ability to do vertex colors on your materials or on your, yeah, on your grease pencil materials. So for example, if we have, if we change this to a glossy V and we can apply a vertex color here, like green, we can apply a vertex color like red. And this is just great because we have finer control over the colors and they're all organized under one material versus having a new material for each color. So we can have one material and have a million colors in one material, pretty much. So that's, I guess, my wish list. If, if any developer is ever watching this um, for Grease Pencil, we need to have access to the vertex colors of the, the Grease Pencil materials. So let me jump back to the, the Grease Pencil object. And if we look in here, Right now, we're forced to create a new material for each and every color, which I think is a bit impractical if you're trying to paint or do a bunch of colors. So it would be nice if we could have vertex color access to, to control colors in the material. Okay, that's it. Um, uh, yeah, enjoy. Bye.